Good morning, family. This is Margie Mayer. Um, and I want to uh, just really thank Gage or whoever came up with the uh, title of the devotions. And I believe that it is correct that it's from our hearts to your home. Uh, this truly is from my heart and I hope it blesses you as well. Uh, today, my title is uh, going to be A Father's Love. I'm gonna read it and then I'll pray at the end. A few months ago, I, uh, the Lord poured into my heart and my mind the example that I used with magnets. In that devotion, I was talking about Ruth's commitment to Naomi and how her heart had to flip to accept Naomi's God as her God. And Orpah enjoyed the fellowship and the blessing of hanging around the family's commitment. I also explained, and I have the, these magnets and I play with them all the time, but um, I also explained how the polar opposite and the resistance when they're, the opposites are facing. And you can actually feel that resistance. You also feel that is trying to make one flip. In confession, I was uh, hoping that people around me would flip to my way of thinking. I was trying to make them change so my life was easier, let's say, uh, without conviction. For the last year, I felt my emotions were on a seesaw, uh, like the way, uh, wavering back and forth as the ocean's tide, where my resolve was very strong, yet roll away shortly thereafter. I kept the magnets in my wallet, and a few weeks ago, I pulled them out and was mindlessly playing with them. I remember hearing what the Lord said very clearly, one of them has to flip. I was driving home after work and I had the magnets in my hand and I heard the Lord saying to my heart, it's you that has to flip. What? I instantly looked back over the year and realized uh, the resistance that I had felt, a push pull in my spirit, because I wanted the Lord to, to bless my ideas my way, my will, which in his sovereignty, he never gave up on me. His love for us is so strong, or is as strong as a father, that he would fight for what is his own. I see this kind of push-pull resistance in our human relationships also. There is a natural progression as we uh, get to an age of the next step in our life. But is that resistance because of our own rebellion? Or is it a push to help us make the next step? What joy there is when our spirit is not resisting correction, but agreeing with our Heavenly Father and accepting His guidance. We are not puppets, but when we stop resisting, we begin to, our lives begin to, and we begin to trust our lives fall into place. Remember the test that we go through is our testimony of God's grace, His purpose, and His glory in our life. Here's a couple of scriptures that I would like to share with you that has just been on my heart for the last couple of days. Uh, and I hope they, they encourage you as well. Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God in your midst, the Mighty One, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness, and He will quiet you with His love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Psalms 119, 37 through 40. Turn away my eyes from looking at useless things and revive me in your ways. Establish your word to your servant who is uh, delighted to fearing you. Turn away my reproach which I dread, for your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. Psalms 119, 92. Unless your law had been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. Um, and the Lord says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am a jealous God and you are mine. This song also has been on my heart and um, I hope to be able to share it. Um, I want to play it because I don't think that I could uh, voice the, the words without it cracking. So we're going to try it. Here we go. Look what you've done. 
How could you fall so far? You should be ashamed of yourself. So I was ashamed of myself. The lies I believed. They got some roots that run deep. I let them take a hold of my life. I let them take control of my life. Standing in your presence, Lord, I can feel you digging all the roots up. I feel you healing all my wounds up. All I can say is hallelujah. Look what you've done. Look what you've done in me. You spoke your truth into the lies I let in my heart believe. Look at me now. Look how you made me new. The enemy did everything that he could do. Oh, but look what you've done. Suddenly all shame is gone i thought i was too broken now i see you were breaking new ground inside of me standing in your presence lord i can feel you digging all my roots up i feel you healing all my wounds up all i can say is hallelujah Thank you for letting me play that whole song. Um, so with my closing thought is um, God never stops fighting for you. So let's pray. Dear Father, we just thank you for such a love that um, we really don't know the full extent of, but we know that you fight for us and we know that we are yours. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>